the entire like Christmas sweater section. Lexus Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Lux Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, happy sauna Sunday, what is up? I have to pull it on in because I'm editing this video and I realized there's a static noise in the intro part and it is just way too annoying for me to keep it in. So instead of you scratching out your eardrums because it's so annoying, I'm just gonna do a little intro here. I am thrifting winter 2020 fashion trends and the whole reason for these types of videos is to show that you don't need to buy these trends new because they've most likely probably have already happened so you may be able to just find it secondhand and I always really enjoy these videos because it helps me get outside of my comfort zone try trends that I may have thought that I hated but then I try it out and I'm like oh I actually like this I have a couple of different trends that I'm going to be looking for and to you guys along with me to see if I can thrift winter 2020 fashion trends <music> I wasn't gonna actually include this in this video or like this trend because I honestly didn't think I was gonna find it and personally it's not really my jam but the cape trend and actually I definitely see the appeal I think it looks really nice it's almost kind of like a nice accessory and this one it is $16.99 it kind of reminds me of like I don't know if I was having British tea or something <laughs> like I said I have a couple different trends I really want to find something with shoulder pads because that is a trend which I feel like we all knew it is. Puff sleeve, obviously, it's literally, it's just, it's my favorite. I would love to find some other leather, faux leather pants because the ones that I have are too loose. When I bought them, they were like a size bigger and I thought it'd be fine, but now I've kind of fluctuated in kind of sizing and so now like they just don't work. Leathers obviously are a trend this year as well, so I figured it was kind of perfect. Puffer jackets, which you know, when I was younger, I used to hate puffer jackets because they just made me feel like a marshmallow. But I feel like I'm now at a point where I can really appreciate them. I don't necessarily need one, but I kind of just want to find one to see that you could find it at the thrift store. And also maybe, I, I don't know, maybe I want one. We'll see. Quilting has been a big trend in fall and then also winter. I'm not a big quilt person, even just like a comforter quilt, just not my favorite. So clothing quilting is not my favorite, but I want to see if I can try to find it. Velvet is a trend for winter, which definitely makes sense. It kind of reminds me of the holidays. And I personally love velvet. It's such a beautiful fabric. Like it just takes my breath away. So let's just, let's, let's go, let's go through everything. <laughs> this is an amazing denim jacket. It's by High Sierra, which is one of my favorite thrift store brands. I usually find them at the thrift store. It would be $11. It's such a nice black, oh my god, it's like a very soft, like black denim jacket. I really, really like it. It's so cute. Is, is this puff? This isn't a puffer because a puffer is usually like more cropped, but this one, it is quite nice. It is $20, but I mean, if I was going to the snow, this would, this would be the ideal outfit to wear. Oh, they have it in blue as well. <laughs> this corduroy black, I'm literally getting so just like off like I'm just literally going through everything which is kind of usually how it is with these types of videos I kind of look at everything but I have a main focus so hopefully that's okay but this jacket oh it's beautiful this one I like because it doesn't have the full like fuzz inside it just kind of stops at the trim personally as somebody that doesn't live somewhere that gets cold it would be honestly amazing I really really like this it's $15.99 I don't know what do we think I'm not sure a really nice fake leather jacket really like that okay this is not part of the trends but i've always wanted a yellow raincoat i don't i don't i don't know why maybe it's because i watched Coraline recently it's six dollars and 99 cents i kind of love it i'm gonna hold on to it <laughs> this is such a beautiful like ice blue so so nice sweaters weren't really on the list but i j you know i have to especially because it's now like sweater weather and I have to take advantage of this moment.
guess we kind of we found quilting. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna detour from like the plan of just thrifting those trends and focus on winter clothes in general. Um, you know, that's just what going to the thrift store is like. You gotta make some changes and roll with the punches. Just absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This like plum, so pretty. Did I just find a puffer jacket? Oh yes, I did. I totally forgot I was looking for that. Look at it. This is honestly the only puffer I've found. I think there's eh, there's more like vests on the other side, which puffer vest, I don't know. I just, I can't do it. Sweater vest is like as close as I get to a vest. Okay, yeah, these are where all the actual like winter jackets are. It would feel like a little marshmallow in this. Some good stuff. I did find some puffers. Obviously, just not, not, not for me in the environment that I live in, but I'm actually coming along to puffers. If, Next year, I'm able to actually go somewhere where it's winter and fall time, then maybe I'll get a puffer then. You may be wondering, Alexa, where do we go from there? We, we go into every section. Honestly, I think this is my favorite thrift trip because it's not that busy and yeah, it just seems like a good day. Okay, this is such a cute, fuzzy sweater. It's $11.99, it isn't a small. I just feel like I would be a little pastel princess in this. It's like really fuzzy, so I feel like it would shed. Will it shed? I can't tell. Fuzzy sweaters and cardigans. That was on the trends list, just saying. I mean, it could also work for spring. Oh, this is nice. I think I'm gonna hold on to this, which I've said it before. Every time I get a pink sweater, I never wear it. Um, that's why we're just, we're just putting it on the side. Put it on the side. That looks so cozy. It's actually kind of itchy, so never mind. I feel like if it was a full button up, I would maybe get it for like springtime, but eh. Okay, I kind of love and hate this at the same time. Like, I, I don't think it's my vibe, but I think it's so cute. Like, I could totally see like an aesthetic, like, girl on Pinterest with this on making it look all trendy. I'm just, that's, that's not me. I actually really like the style of the shirt. I wish it was black. This like deep olive green isn't my favorite, so I, I'm not gonna get it, but I really like this like v-neck crop top look. Okay, this may be a very niche thing, but these like shirts with these like little, I don't know what they're called, um, reminds me of the book Rainbow Fish. The little rainbows on his fishy body. Oh, it's actually really cute. I think it's originally from H&M actually. Okay, again, not winter, but you know, you gotta, you gotta take what you can get when it comes to the thrift store. You cannot wait until that season because it'll be gone. That's what happened to me with Christmas sweaters last year. This year, I'm good to go. Yeah, you gotta like plan for it. And anytime you see something that you like, whatever season it is, just get it. <laughs> also something that I've started doing is if there's certain items I just know I can't wear probably for like a couple of months, maybe like five, six months, I have been putting them I, not really like a capsule wardrobe, but to an extent like taking items that I know won't be able to wear and not clutter in my closet by putting them in like boxes or like storage bags. And it's been really nice because I used to just get rid of clothes that I wasn't wearing, but I didn't realize the reason why I'm not wearing them is because it's not the season to be able to wear them. So it's kind of helped also then with the next season, I don't feel like I don't have anything like I do from the previous season. So. Just, just a little tangent. I was really hoping to find some houndstooth in the blazer section, but like literally there's nothing. Oh my gosh, my green blazer is so beautiful. Oh, I don't need any more plaid blazers. I do have a lot, but I really like this. I feel like if it was a little bit longer, it kind of hits me at like a weird point. So let me put that back. A lot of these like structured, like puffy, not the proper like, I don't know. I, the only thing I can explain is like not the Reformation inspired tops, but like actual like structural 
puffy sleeves, if that makes sense. That's what this kind of reminds me of and what I continue to see when I was searching for like winter 2020 fashion trends. I'd also hoped I would find like a velvet blazer, but it's nothing. Can I redo my wedding in that? <laughs> oh my God, it's an entire like Christmas sweater section. I'm honestly surprised. I mean, may they probably aren't putting this in the front because it's technically not Christmas time. This is twenty dollars. Oh my god! Oh, they get me every time. Made it all alive. Didn't get any of them. Wanted all of them. If it wasn't an extra small, oh, so beautiful. So it seems a little bit more wearable than some of the other slip dresses I have found. Okay, I went through the men's section. There wasn't honestly really anything, so I didn't film it. But I'm in the pants section and I'm trying to find some faux leather pants. And I found these, but they're like leggings. They're like faux leather leggings. And I want like actual structured pants. So. Oh, these are like really cropped on me, so it's gonna be a no for these. Jeans wise, they actually have a lot. They have like Lee jeans, I found some Levi's, and there's some Papa Klein jeans. Yeah, they do have a lot actually. But we are looking for jeans, no, no, no. Another trend that I saw is like neon, and this jacket is the most neon jacket I have ever seen. It's not my thing, I'm not, I'm not a neon gal. Although during my like scene kid phase, Give me all the neon, I was so into that, but maybe I just like scarred myself. <laughs> I've been really wanting some white boots. These are technically in my size, they're like a nine and a half, but I kind of want like chunky white boots, but I mean, still really cute. It's just not what has been in my mind, but actually they have a really good shoe like selection. Also another trend I saw a lot was 70s inspired and personally, it's just not really my style, but this kind of goes along with that trend, so if you're into 70s style, you can find it at the thrift store, which I feel like is pretty obvious. If you're taking inspiration from a decade, then it's most likely at the thrift store, which is also funny because that's originally from Zara, so I'm sure years ago the 70s were in as a trend and they made stuff like that. Then the trend was gone and now it's back again. There's like a little part of me that really wants this t-shirt, but I have literally no reason. Like. There's literally nothing to it, but it's just so calming to me. Maybe it just reminds me of like wholesome happiness. Alrighty, I finished up. I got my pieces here. Honestly, like, okay, I almost spent a hundred dollars, which is just insane to me, but some really good pieces, some really good winter pieces. Well, winter in like Southern California winter, but I'm feeling really good. I do have to tattle on myself and say that I bought a Christmas sweater. I just, I couldn't help myself. It was so cute. So uh, that is mostly why it was so expensive. You know, it happens. So I'm gonna head on home, wash all this stuff, and then show you guys what I ended up getting tomorrow. Already, it has been a couple days. I've washed everything. And honestly, this come thrift with me for winter was one of my favorites. I mean, I literally say that for every single one, but the amount of sweaters and just like top notch sweaters, although two of them are actually quite itchy and I did not realize that, but that's fine. Um, For this haul portion, I wanted to do a little bit different because I was watching Best Dresses newest thrift haul and I forgot how much I actually really enjoy when people have the actual item on and are talking about the item that they have on. I don't know. I feel like you're able to describe the item a lot better. So that's what we're going to do. Let me grab the first thrifted item. Yeah. So we're starting out with one that I'm kind of on the fence about. It was $8.49 and like looking at it, it is so cute. I am 100% sure I have pinned something like this during springtime. The color is amazing. It's like a little cardigan. It's kind of like a grandma cardigan. Got it with this little green bag just to add, you know, some color. Only like thing about this is the amount of fuzz that my apartment is now covered in because of this gosh darn it's sweater it is so bad like every time i move my body a piece of fuzz 
falls off, goes into the air, and will haunt me for the rest of my life. I don't know if it's honestly truly wearable, and that's one thing when you're not able to try things on at the thrift store, you can look at them. I mean, I could have tried this on because it is just a cardigan, but I was like, it'll be fine, it's super cute. I even took a lint roller and tried to like roll up all the fuzzies that are coming off of it, and there's still more fuzzies coming off of it, but it's cute. So, you know, funny enough, I thought this one was gonna be the one to shed really bad, but to be honest, it's a fuzzy sweater without the fuzzies coming off, which I can totally deal with. It is just like the tiniest bit itchy, but also soft, like it's a very conflicting feeling. Also the head hole is like, is small. When I was putting it on just now, I was like, I don't, I, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. It was $11.99, so a little bit expensive, but honestly, the look of it, it is just so beautiful. The little puff sleeve on it, like, can you believe that? I wanted to kind of work with the lighter colors. I think it's definitely gonna be something during springtime I'll probably wear a little bit more. One thing I actually love the most about it is the color. It's not like a bright pink or even a pastel pink. It's almost like a peach and pink had a baby and made this color. It just kind of feels like a preppy gal walking down the street, got my little headband on. Yeah, I really, I really like it. I think it's nice. I have yet to have any fuzzies from this go in my mouth, which is, that is succeeding after the last one. So this top, which I don't know if you can honestly see, is a Calvin Klein top. I got it for $6.49. And usually I'm not super into Calvin Klein t-shirts or kind of anything with like Calvin Klein. I don't know, it just never like appeals to me. I'm not super into name brands except for like Doc Martens and Harley Davidson obviously and Disney. Anyway, but this one just looked very like a chill t-shirt. It kind of reminds me of something that Rachel would have worn in Friends. It has like kind of like a velvet for the CK and I think it's really nice. Something that I would have normally gone for and to be honest, I very rarely go into the t-shirt section at the thrift store now. I know it's super weird but there's usually nothing that really grabs my eye and I'm usually looking for for blouses versus like just a t-shirt just because I have a lot of them and although it doesn't seem like much I actually really really love it and for six dollars and 49 cents I think that's awesome and I also actually thrifted this bag as well I really like the checkered print on there the blue and I'm really trying to get into bags every time I try to thrift bags I end up never wearing them but I really want to make an effort because I'm just really bad with accessories and I know you can really take an outfit to the next level with accessories. So I'm trying to accessorize as much as possible, but this bag was $10. Okay, I think this one was $6.49 and the other one was actually $9.99. I don't know why I got that wrong, but it doesn't really go with this video. I got it in preparation for summertime 2021. I really like the little peplum. I feel like it's just a nice, almost just beach shirt. There's honestly just nothing really to it, but I just wanna show it in this video because I did pick it up in this thrift with me. <laughs> okay, I mean, do I really have to say anything about this cardigan? It's freaking amazing. It was $16 and it isn't a small, which is actually quite surprising. I mean, it kind of gives me a loose small. This fall sweat, like it's so cute. And honestly, it's very rare that I find fall sweaters. If anything, it's either like straight up Halloween sweaters or sweatshirts. I mean, even that is kind of hard to find at the thrift store or Christmas sweaters, which Y'all know I love those, but I feel like fall is just never like appreciated. I mean, I live in Southern California, so like fall doesn't exist, so it makes sense. But the idea of the season, I just never really like get into. And although it's kind of over now, I at least have this for next year. I just think it's so adorable. It's just a black little cardigan. And I'm usually not really into cardigans, but there's something about this that I just want to wear with literally everything. Does it have pockets? Okay, it doesn't have pockets, but that's fine. That's okay. Yep, I thrifted another raincoat and went from having zero raincoats to now having a couple raincoats, even though it very rarely rains. But you know, when it does rain, I'm prepared. And there's something about this raincoat, maybe it's because it reminds me of Coraline or the fact that it's yellow and like, Alexa Sunshine, Sunshine, yellow. It was all yellow. I just, I really, really like it. I like the little hood. And this is something I would 100% and I will 100% wear in the rain like come on weather bless me with some droplets so i can take a spin in this raincoat there are some like imperfections within it there's some like black spots i've already washed it and everything but yeah that's just you know personality okay i don't remember how much i got this for but i got this bag this little like messenger bag it is so cute it kind of makes me feel like important i really like the brown as well i think if it was 
black i've honestly probably wouldn't have liked it as much because it really pops especially with the kind of colors that i wear it was like 14 or 13 dollars somewhere over 10 dollars i remember that there's definitely some room oh here's the tag it was 14 dollars and there's enough room for almonds obviously i saved the best for last this Christmas sweater. I mean, it was $19.99. There are a little bit of shoulder pads. Yeah. Come on, this little horsey. The like little tail. I am literally five years old, but that's okay. This makes me so happy. I definitely could like fold it up, tuck it in a bit, but I really wanted to get that full effect of that horse. I, I had to, I had to get it. It was just so adorable. But yeah, so that is what I ended up picking up from the thrift store. Honestly, I think my favorite has to be the Christmas sweater and the fall sweater, which I mean two seasonal sweaters that both just make me super happy. You know, they're gonna make you smile and they're gonna make other people smile. If you guys like thrifting videos and secondhand fashion, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit the little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram I'm Alex and Shine 83 to keep up to date with me during the week. I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a super sunny Sunday. Enjoy life, be happy, and I'll be watching. Bye!